Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to episode number four of FIFA 20 Career Mode. And today we begin with a match against Monaco in the league. This is our first match of the season. Hopefully we'll be able to come away with the win today. I'm sorry for my, um, like, is it two weeks now that I've, maybe even three that I've not posted a video. I'm really sorry about that. I've been doing exams for school however they're done now so I'm going to try and be more consistent with the videos coming out in the next few weeks especially since I'm going away um, not too long away but not too far away but here's the lineup for Monaco the formidable strike partnership in Ben Yedder and Falcao and uh, a um, decent central midfield pairing of Cesc Fabregas and uh, Golovin, the Russian guy who was really good at the World Cup, and then it the could lineup, pace Cipriot out on the wing with Onyukuru and Jelson Martins, or Gelson Martins, I'm not sure, but here is our lineup. Striker. As you would expect, Tataru Sanu um, stepping in for Lopez, who unfortunately is injured, and Mendes starts in defensive midfield while Rene Adelaide gets a start um, to the right of him in normal central midfield, but let's get going right away. Is kicked off. Uh, hopefully we can beat Monaco today. Martin. And, uh, as here, Depay winning the ball back and charging forward. He slides in Moussa Dembele, who has the chance to put us in the lead early on, but it's saved, unfortunately. Uh, Lecomte, the goalkeeper, does really well there, gets out to it. To be honest, I didn't finish it very well. Uh, I need to improve on finishing one-on-ones. But you will see I have got a bit better at that. I do, well, at least I think. But here we're looking to come inside. Awa bursting into some space, having a shot. And Lecomte tips it behind for another corner. Yeah, we're troubling Monaco's goal early on. Awa bursting into that space. His effort is powerful, but unfortunately too close to the keeper. Now here come Monaco into Cesc Fabregas to Ben Yedda. Ben Yedda slides in Falcao. Falcao crossing to the back stick where Martins heads down. Ben Yedda has a sh shot, it's blocked. Then Tadaru Sanu makes a good save and Anderson just about gets it away. He comes back to Martins, back to Golovin, back to Martins who looks to get the cross in, but it's blocked by Awa. The tackle comes in, but Denaya eventually hits it away. Now, just at the end of this half, we look to come forward the ball. He's looking for Depay from Dembele, but it's intercepted, and we go in at half time, nil all. Decent performance from us so far. Unfortunately, we haven't taken our chances. But as you can see there, pretty even. We have been the better side, according to the statistics. But we'll hopefully come out in this second half and actually get ourselves the victory. But saying that, Bertrand Traore from kickoff goes on a lovely run. Crossing the ball in, Naldo does really badly and then recovers to make a block off Dembele, but it comes back to us here. Mendes to Ren Adelaide, bursts into some space, finds Dembele, he turns, has a shot, and again Lecomte is able to save. Fun. It's a pretty good turn of effort from Dembele. Unfortunately for us, Lecomte was equal to it. Good save there. Now, from the resulting corner, Depay swings the ball into Denaya. He heads it on goal. That's a pretty weak header and easily cleared by Monaco. But now, we're coming forward through Mendes, who slots in Corne, who's come off, off the, yeah, come off the bench for Traore. He cuts back to Mendes. Mendes with the little flick to John Lucas. His shot is saved on the second attempt. Depay hits the post. But thank goodness that fell right back to him. And he was able to put the ball in the back of the net to give us our first goal of the season and a lead just with just 15 minutes left to play. Hopefully one that would um, turn out to be enough to get us the three points. But the comp's beaten finally. If we have a look here, John Lucas's first shot is blocked. Then there's a save. Depay hits the post, but thankfully it falls right back to him and he can't miss that one. Putting it into the back of the net with his left foot. And our number 11, Memphis Depay, gives us um, the lead in the first game of the league in our season. Good performance from him. We'll see uh, a lot more from him this season, hopefully. But here, 
Monaco, they just kick it straight out for a throw to kick off, which is pretty and those cool to get want to see just a little bit here come Monaco, in the time that and well, through on your crew, you you he slots it back to Ben Yedda, and it's a really good save from Kata Usanu there, it keeps us in the lead with seven minutes to play, Ben Yedda had a shot on his left, it's curling back inside the post, thankfully for us, Kata Usanu is equal to it, but now Monaco, just before the end of the game, have a corner as that sh uh, cross is blocked. Right. The fans certainly getting behind the team. No side of the goalkeeper, which I thought was quite odd. There also doesn't appear to be that many players in the box for Monaco, but they did have the men on the scraps. Thankfully, the volley is blocked and cleared away, and we get the 1 0 victory away from home to start off our league campaign. Monaco visibly uh, frustrated with their defeat. Ben Yedda. Uh, as you can see there, it's been a really bit disappointed. He might have felt he could have done better, but his efforts that he did have were decent. It was uh, just that they couldn't quite carve out the most golden chances. Monaco, we defended pretty well, and as you can see by the stats, we surely deserved to pick up that victory, which we did. Very good indeed from us and now here's a bit of player training Guiri goes up by um, one there Soleil is another youngster who I'm training who could be quite good in the future and then Toussaint I'm trying to get a bit better since he's really not doing very good I want his like dribbling to go up a bit Awa who's just a pretty good young player he's already first team quality Trying to get him a bit better, and Traore was trying to improve his crossing because it was under 70, which isn't great for a winger. But as you can see here, um, we sit 6th place after one game. Nisa top after they won their game 4-0. Uh, down the bottom of the table are Amiens, Toulouse, and Metz. And we have Angers in our um, second game of today's episode. We are at home. This is our first home game of the season see if we'll be able to come away with the victory in front of our home fans that would be quite ideal here is the stadium I'm not sure if we've seen it before or not um, I don't think we would have because of the preseason tournament would have would not have been here so this I think is our, the first time we've seen the stadium if we haven't seen it, then yeah, it's in the game. The real stadium's in the game, which is, which is pretty good. Um, Tadru Sano keeps his spot after a good performance in the last game, but Tussar does come back in. Mendes pushes a bit further forward, and that is the only change made to the lineup that picked up our, um, uh, the win in the last game against Monaco. Uh, Angers, um, subjectively the weaker opponent of the two and as you can see there there's not really anyone who is recognizable to me at least maybe if you um, watch the Liga then you might know some of these players but I don't I thought it was uh, Mamadou Koulibaly but I saw um, in the lineup before when they listed the names that it wasn't I think it was um, uh, Ahmad or something, I can't quite remember. You can go back and have a look. But that corner is punched away by Taku Sano, forced to assist. He goes to Taibi, I think that is. This shot is well saved again from Taku Sano. He's losing his worth as the backup goalkeeper. It's a decent hit from the Angers man. Thankfully, our Romanian between the sticks deflects it past the post. Now, here it's not quite cleared again from us following the corner. It's snuck through that gap. But thankfully, the linesman comes to our rescue. Despite the ball being in the back of the net, the striker was offside. And as you can see there, the correct call was made. Now, Manso to Koulibaly. And now it's slotted through, and Bahoken heads it through for Taibi, who in the end puts it into the back of the net. But again, the offside flag is there to save the day for us. And get away with another piece of sloppy defending letting them in. But now, just before half time, Depay looking to make them pay. Dembele tries to skip past his defender. Then Depay takes a shot, which hits the support post, I think it was. He goes out for a goal kick. That would have been a great effort to score just before half time. Great timing. 
Absolute because, banger if it uh, played team. We've seen in the first Unfortunately, half, not to be, and we go in a uh, nil nil at the break. Possibly will have seen something. Um, yeah, possibly. Hopefully, a in the second half, we perform a bit armor. better, I mean, create a couple more decent chances, Let's hope that changes. Uh, not let them have too many offside goals. Or, I mean, they can have as many offside goals as they want, but I would prefer to restrict them from creating so many chances. The the here, half. the second half is kicked off. Let's see what's going to happen. Got some strength, uh, hasn't it's he? Mendes on the ball. Like he slides it into Depay. And what can Depay do here? Memphis takes it past to you. Then he gets into the box. It's more nice dribbling. He quickly sneaks past. He tries to get the cross in. It's a really good save at the He's back stick from He's their defender. The but again. thankfully for He's us, we get a penalty well, because Pavlovich, uh, uh, with a sliding challenge, to took out the pie as he was kicking the ball. Definitely didn't the get the ball. Yes. He definitely what got a bit of the pie. Yeah, you can't and really a penalty what a is what the referee calls as Angers make a substitution. Uh, we'll be lining up the shot. It's it's to pie. Target goes off uh, because, of course, well, where's the fun in shooting with the target? But smack down the middle. Find it's easier to go down the middle. Less likely to miss because I can actually direct it down the middle. I don't really know what I'm doing when directing it to either side. Penalties are Very neat penalty. different in this game, of course. No also, if you can tell me how to change your run-up, because I've tried moving well, back like you could in the goal. last game. It was good. You could always adjust your armor. You could even move forward, I think, move to the side. Or well, maybe that was just for free kicks, but even so. Um, also, can you stutter in this game? Do a stutter step? Can you speed up? Because I know you could vary your running really nicely in the last at least two versions of the game, if not in FIFA 17 when they did bring in that new penalty system. And um, I haven't checked if you can do finesse shots either, but here, Angers almost go in front, but again, Tadarusano making the save, this time he gets his big right boot across to, blo to block the shot around the post. Yeah, but um, as I was saying, you could, you used to be able to do um, finesse shot with our, yeah, holding R1 or RB if you play on X. But as you saw there, they almost scored the header from a corner hitting the crossbar. I mean, just to um, clarify, that is from penalties. You can still do finesse shots normally with um, R1. But they almost scored there a couple of times as this um, this is punched away. The cross from Alwa, it falls from Mendes, he gives it back to Toussaint who lines up the shot and the goalkeeper is equal to it. My manager, or my avatar, obviously displeased with that. It's a really good reaction save, he must have seen it late. But here Toussaint intercepts, holds off his man, launches it up the pitch, it goes out. Which means uh, Angers will have one minute of time to have any chance of getting a draw from this game. Pavlovich, who gave away the penalty, finds Koulibaly. He hits it out to the far left side, Sis swinging it in. Denier nice heads away. It's headed down, though, to Capel. And thankfully, that tackle from Kone didn't take out Ould Khaled. Or we might have seen a penalty go on Jair's way, and they might have had a chance to equalise in the very last minute, which would have been disappointing, since we probably would have only come away with the one point from the game if that happened. Thankfully, though, he didn't fall over. Kone slide challenge. Tatru Sanu came out, gobbled up the ball, and we come away with the victory from that game. Just another, just a slight 1 0 victory score line. Uh, this time, uh, Depay screwing the goal once again, this time from a penalty. Here's a bit more training. Saleh goes up over 67 and a half. Um, we sit top of the league. How will that, that stay? Probably won't stay the same. We approach the game against Montpellier. Um, and yeah, as you can see there, we've dropped down to fifth. A couple teams have played three. Bordeaux have won all three of their games. We sit... Fifth, I think it was. PSG sit 16th with just one win from three. They just lost to Toulouse, which ain't great from PSG. But, I mean, probably shouldn't spoil it, but I'll say now. 
it doesn't stay that way for the rest of the season. PSG play quite well and they catch up. Um, but as you can see there, Bordeaux win, have won three out of three. Us and Nice are the only two other teams with a perfect record and we'll be hoping to keep that up against Montpellier. But that will be in the next episode. I hope you did enjoy this one. If you did, please do drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.